Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an MPPT charge controller. This MPPT charge controller can work for both 12 volt and 24 volt batteries. Its input supply can be from 15 volt to 80 volts. This charge controller can be used with different type of batteries. This is an improved version of my previous charge controller. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely. And then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So this is our charge controller. It has different sections, which are control and measurement section, buck conversion section, power supply section, and the user interface section. Control and measurement section includes Arduino, voltage, and current sensors. The buck conversion section has a DC to DC step down buck converter made with MOSFET, short kit diode, inductor, and capacitor. The power supply section has a 5 volt buck converter to supply the Arduino and a linear regulator to convert 80 volts to 30 volt which can be used to supply the small buck converter which gives supply to Arduino. The user interface section includes a display and push buttons. 16 by 2 LCD is used as the display. Now let's see how this MPPT charge controller works and what changes are done in this charge controller. This is the block diagram of the charge controller. Arduino is the most important part of this project. It is generating the PWM signal for the buck converter. And depending upon the output voltage, it changes the duty cycle of the PWM signal by which the output voltage changes. If the output voltage of the buck converter is less than required voltage, Arduino increases the duty cycle of the PWM signal until the output voltage reaches to required value. And if the output voltage is greater than the required voltage, Arduino decreases the duty cycle of the PWM signal until it reaches to the required voltage. The buck converter used in this project is a negative buck converter. The main benefit of negative buck converter, it only uses MOSFETs in low side configuration. It is very easy to control low side configured MOSFETs, but the downside of negative buck converter is the battery voltage cannot be measured easily. To overcome this problem, I have used a differential amplifier based voltage sensor by which we can measure the battery voltage. Another problem in this project was to supply 5 volt to Arduino. For that, I have used a small buck converter made with MC4063 PWM controller, but it can only handle 40 volt maximum and we are using up to 80 volts of power supply in this project. To overcome this problem, I have made a transistor and zener diode based voltage regulator which can convert 80 volts to 30 volt easily. And these 30 volts are given to the MC30406 buck converter which further converted to 5 volt to supply the Arduino. Now let's understand how can we use this MPPT charge controller. First, we made solar panel grid by connecting solar panels in series and parallel configuration. We can use maximum 80 volts at the input and the maximum current we can draw is 40 amps. Now we connect the solar panel grid at the input of the charge controller. Charge controller turn on by connecting the PV grid. Now we can select the battery type to do that long press the menu button and by up and down button we can select the battery type. Now press the menu button again. 
Now connect the battery with charge controller. You can connect the load directly to the battery. I have made PCBs for this project. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.